Hi, back again. We start. We take the house recorded to new. So that is the house, and we want to optimize it. That here is not all words. When you take them here, then you will see we have round about nine thousand or so. So we take the house shift D itself, move it to the third layer. We go to third layer. That is the house itself, and we now have to optimize that. That means we take here edge selection and dissolve them both. Then on the back side we dissolve that pad. So we have that. Then here this middle line I think we can dissolve this middle line here and that may be not because they must have a here cut through that okay here think we can do that I must try that no in this case no okay then we can take that and that line dissolve them don't wonder, it's only texture. So that here we can dissolve. Good. So now this part here, I think the middle line can go. This down line. Maybe one of them. No. Then this both. And this middle line. And we try that here. Or that here. That can leave. Okay. So that is the optimizing for that. Here on all this wooden stuff, there, there is a back face, and we don't need that back face. But before we try to dissolve here this edges, so we have that. That here isn't needed too. That here too. Also that one. And this whole loop here too. That whole loop dissolve here on the roof. That's all unneeded words. So we have done that. That is good. The only thing is that we can open the faces to the inside, I told it before, but that it's it. So uh, this wooden stuff here should go to the other layer, but we have copied that I think. So we can delete it here, X, delete words. We look at the first layer. Yeah, it's all there. So we can delete it on our uh, base mesh here. We don't want that as the base mesh. So now we have a real simple one. So, don't know. Good. That's now really the low poly one. We have 243. It's not the best count, but it is a good count. So, the windows should be closed. They are closed. Uh, here on the back side is also this shit here, so we can delete that complete. I don't know the windows are double. Yeah, they are double. That's because it is class. 
uh, but we need no class because it is a texture later so we can x delete words Boop. only at the front I think so let's try that X delete words so we have here an open one so at each, each one we get four words left uh, less so we at first uh, here that is okay but there there is okay too okay 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 they can a little bit more go into that we see a difference and here we have to make it new so I was wrong you have can leave it <laughs> like it was but I s don't see that in this moment so X should go back and F to close that was the point now X should backward left close left close x should go back good we have that and we let that now file save we look but we also have on the house and I think there is nothing else the rest is all texture because all these lines here that has many 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 words so that we don't need so we simply make textures from that you know how we do that we often did it we use the camera when we find the camera But I see no camera. That's bad. We look here in our outliner that we see there a cam. No. So we make the one. So add camera. Then N to open the panel. Then X should be 90 degrees that should be zero that is zero so the cam looks from the front then we go to the cam symbol and take out the graphic view go with numpad zero into the cam and scale here near grab it position it and get here more scaled the resolution is too high we want a thousand twenty four by 1024 now we can zoom here more with hold it shift you have more control over it so it goes slower you can adjust more detailed so file save that's that so we render that F12 file save as we call it front two new one then escape numpad zero to go out of the cam get the cam rotate it set 180 and go behind the house numpad zero to jump in the cam f12 to render
image save as image and that's back save then we go to side rotate set 90 so we go to the left side numpad 0 grab X or Y so Y render image save as left good escape numpad zero rotate set 180 get to the right side numpad zero jump in f12 to render image save as image and it is right right save so we have now saved them all in the folder of this to new house and we need it in our main uh, texture folder so we go to our project folder and there is our how to new house there are now this renders and we cut out them and paste them in the texture folder so they are in now and now we can go to our low poly model that's here looks awful in a moment but not long so we delete all materials that are there then we make a new material and call it front to new one then we give them a principal shader with a high roughness an image it should be open our texture folder and there is the front of house to new to yeah 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 mm, we must look where we get it front wood front to new one yeah that is it so now we have to select your face selection without background selection so we only mark the front then we assign that and you unwrap from view so we have a tier that is the wrong texture so we click here X and open up our front to new and simply scale that that it fit with the texture position it and that's it little bit too big so that's better yeah looks good so plus make the next material that is back to new one same as before as every time we make it often less times yeah but sometimes that is plundering too so control one to go to the back side of the house disable all and then only select the back assign that you unwrap from you kick that 
and open here the history and we get the back and scale up that it fits Good, then we go to the right side, plus new, right to new one, oh, principle roughness, image, open, texture folder, that must the right design right to new so disable or select this faces here in this case we take the windows with us so we mark them here complete all faces what is internally so that becomes the same color as the look from the right side is here under the roof and on each window we have to select them now sure here on the sides too and on the back we have windows too so we should select them yeah, and you see the back uh, view is not completely fit with the texture there there you can um edit the texture and make it a little bit more fitting with that i don't do that now i only want to finish that because you know how that goes and it's not that you can do it not with me alone so search here is one left there is one left what's that why here is this uh, okay it's front <laughs> okay oh no this is the right side so the right side needs that the windows go with them so we make that. So right sides, number three, and you unwrap from view, then kick that here and get the right side picture. So here is it, and then scale up, and that was it. Grab it to position the but we must assign that for sure to these places there and wow that looks good only left side needed so control 3 to go to the left side plus new left to new one 
principal file save high roughness disable now get them sign that and you project from view kick that here get the left picture left there is it and scale up grab it bring it in position so that was a quickie we did it and it has 237 pixels uh, words <laughs> not pixels here that is wrong we have to take wood for that so we can take them both and them too and look from the side and UV unwrap from view and now we can set them to wooden parts of textures so that here is the left so we go here to left and assign that to them and then grab that here and there and then we have wood there good we have done this house too so file save so we see us in the next tutorial bye